Hear me too, yes, sir. Hello, hi, coach. You hear me, yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. How are you? Good, coach, good. So what we have, uh, we are not on meeting now, no? No, no, we are on meeting. Ah, uh, we are on meeting? Yeah. Okay, so for tomorrow we have this uh, uh, referees, yes? Yeah, yeah, tomorrow referee discussion. Okay, so uh, tomorrow we can uh, talk about next week, yes? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Participants are on, yes? Yeah, yeah, joining, they're joining, yeah. Uh-huh, okay. You will tell me when we can start? Yeah, yeah, six minutes we will start, I will tell you. Okay. <clears throat> Did you talk to, to this lady? Yeah, yeah, I talked, I think he, she will do today or tomorrow. What she said? She will do coach. Okay. Did you send, uh, did you share this uh, video what I sent to you this? Yeah, yeah, I will share link. in chat. I will share in chat, right? How many participants we have? Right now, coach, I think 110 minutes. They are still joining. Ah, okay.
which we can start now. Okay. Thank you. Good evening uh, to everyone. Uh, I'm really happy before we start, I'm reading this, uh, how many people, participants we have and uh, from, uh, and I'm very happy that uh, you are really from different part of uh, India. So it does mean that uh, this, our project is working. Again, thanks to Basketball Federation and Sports Authority that they give us this chance to be together and to try to share uh, our experience, Coach Matic and me. So before I start today's topic, topic, I want to inform you, and uh, it's uh, in uh, connection with uh, this topic, what my previous topic, this uh, position five, men in, in basketball, how it's important and how now is successful. As you remember, I was talking also one of the role for these big guys or girls are assist. So they're like uh, point guard, inside point guard, you know. So uh, this link what uh, Ankush and BFI sent to you and uh, which I selected. Uh, <clears throat> those two coaches who make these clinics was uh, coach, coaches of uh, Nikola Jokic. Nikola Jokic from Denver Nuggets. Uh, <clears throat> he is or he's supposed to be the best ever in NBA assistant, assistant, you know, on position five. So it's uh, really uh, unbelievable that uh, one guy, even young guy, and uh, he's not American, he became the best assistant position five in, uh, in NBA. His uh, average is uh, almost seven assistant assists per game. So uh, you can imagine how, how uh, big is his individual quality and how, uh, how he is uh, intelligent, you know, how he is smart, how he can uh, win this really, really uh, very nice uh, title. Okay, this is about last topic. Uh, my topic today is uh, defense. Actually, you know, I want, uh, wanted to, to touch this part of basketball, very important part of, of basketball. First of all, I want to tell you uh, what I want uh, to send, what I chose, you know, for uh, this uh, <coughs> library. Uh, this is uh, Jim Boylan, coach, uh, who was coach in uh, Michigan State NCAA team, and then uh, he was coach in Utah. Also, uh, he was coach uh, in uh, Indiana Pacers uh, team, who was last last season uh, before last season, who was the best uh, defensive uh, team in in NBA. So. Uh, he will uh, talk on uh, on this link. What I uh, what I want to to share with you to to give to you. Uh, he was talking about he's talking about uh, how to build the defensive system. So uh, first of all, I want uh, and I don't like to compare to compare too much with NBA because all. Uh, over the world is uh, completely different than in NBA. But what is uh, most important, uh, what they use in NBA, uh, these drills is uh, very useful for uh, all, all, all basketball players, all basketball teams, and uh, it's very, it's very uh, good to, to see how they play 
uh, on which level they, they play. But actually, this is fundamental of uh, defense and, and uh, how you can build your system on, on a defensive system. So, uh, when we are talking about defense, I need to, to uh, tell you that uh, uh, offense win uh, uh, game, but uh, defense and rebounding win championship. So this is the most important two part of basketball, which you never uh, forget, you know, which uh, you need to, to think about this uh, during your uh, entire uh, uh, coaching career. So, you know, uh, Coach Matic talk a lot of about this, how, how uh, about evolution in, in basketball. But uh, when we are talking about defense, I want to tell you that uh, before, when uh, uh, we was with uh, all these five positions, one, two, three, four, five, uh, all players guard their, their players. So five men guard five men, one man guard one man, and uh, they didn't mix this. But uh, in basketball evolution, you know, today usually uh, we have again no specializ uh, specialization on, on this, uh, on, on each position. So usually today in modern basketball, the best defensive player play defense on best offensive player. So no matter who who is this, uh, which position is this, and of course we use uh, in many many uh, defensive system we use uh, let's say uh, that we can switch with five men on one man, uh, with one man on five men for the moment you know. Of course, this is mismatch. If, if the ball, if it's uh, uh, our one man on five men under the basket, this is mismatch. But five men on one man on perimeter, this is not mismatch. So this is uh, what what is uh, very very important. You know uh, that we need to know that uh, all our defensive players uh, uh, have to be able to 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 play defense on different positions. So uh, before I start, uh, before I tell you uh, about this, uh, what uh, Ankush and uh, we prepare for, for today for this concept, uh, this is a case to a great uh, defensive stance, one-on-one -on -one closeout, one-on-one -on -one to three-on-three -three full court, man-to-man -man in hole, four-on-four, four-on-three, four-on-four shell drill, drill uh, Five on five whistle drill and uh, no pain drill. So uh, this is what we uh, make on concept, you know. So you will see on uh, on this uh, <coughs> on this uh, screen. This is you know, and I will not talk too much about this uh, because everything is uh, very very nice. Uh, uh, very nice is uh, explain explanation is is nice uh, just sorry because it was not uh, methodically put on on uh, on uh, in in the row you know so that on list so that's why i will not jump from one to other and and uh, make complication i will not talk in general but before i start to talk about individual defense i want to uh, just explain uh, which kind of defense we have. Uh, we have this individual defense on, or one-on-one -on -one or man-to-man -man defense. So it's, uh, as Coach Matic talked, it's terminology which we use usually when uh, we are talking about defense. So uh, next defense is uh, zone defense and uh, we have uh, different kind of zone defense. We have uh, this uh, two, three, two, one, two, uh, one, two, two, one, three, one, and so on and so on. And of course, we have combined defense when we have one plus four. So it does mean one man to man, four in zone defense, two man to man, three in zone defense. We have also 
depend of uh, level of, of the court. We have full court uh, defense. It's usually press press defense, you know, man to man. Then we have uh, two thirds. Then we have half, and then we have position defense. So also we have this uh, matchup zone defense where we have usually uh, <coughs> combination with the, we start like zone and then we continue uh, with the <coughs> man to man. Actually, we follow our, our players. Depend how they are cutting, how they are moving. Also, what is uh, important, you know, uh, this is that uh, uh, if we play full court, for example, uh, according to, to rules, uh, what it's changed these 24 seconds, uh, first of all, uh, our pressure full court is not, uh, it must be, uh, aggressivity must be controlled, you know. We don't need to, to go to steal the ball uh, 20 meters far from our basket and then to make a violation, to make a foul. So we don't need this. Why we decide to, to uh, play full court, for example? Uh, first of all, to slow down offensive team, you know, that, that they cannot be comfortable, that they cannot be uh, easy to go on their their sets or their what they want to do. So uh, how to uh, talk about this system on, on uh, defense? First of all, uh, we need to select uh, players. So uh, usually, you know, good defensive players is not most popular uh, team player. First of all, because, you know, he is not attractive. He is a very, very hard uh, uh, worker, but he is not uh, who, who uh, uh, his price is uh, the top price on the uh, market, you know, in basketball. He is only uh, only almost coach, coaches appreciate uh, when they have enough good uh, players on 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 defense also uh, what i what i want to uh, tell you uh, before we we uh, start to talk about individual defense and principles is that uh, this uh, as i said this this good defender uh, even uh, uh, spectators and, and supporters, they don't recognize this, and that that is not. Uh, that's why it's very important, you know, that uh, you make good selection, that uh, you can select uh, players who who is enough uh, good, aggressive on 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 defense, and who will guarantee that uh, you will be more successful during competition or uh, this tournament or uh, this uh, league or something like that. So it's very difficult, you know. Before, I was thinking that it's only willing. Uh, they will, uh, that they, they want to play defense or they don't want to play defense. But, uh, you know, uh, with this uh, uh, developing of, of basketball, uh, I changed my, my opinion about this and now I can talk that uh, you know, good defensive players and good defensive team, they need to know how to play defense. So, as you know, you are uh, you know, offensively you have system, you know, you, have, you need also to, to have system on defense. We are talking, uh, we will talk today about individual defense, but basketball is not individual sport. It, it's a collective sport. So it does mean, you know, only we do good individual, uh, this, this uh, uh, individual, you know, uh, defense, we can talk about good uh, team defense, you know. So this is, this is very important. Uh, Coach Matic uh, talked yesterday about this, uh, you know, uh, it's not usually one-on-one. -on -one. If we play defense and they start, we start to play one-on-one, -on -one, we want to, to make every time advantage on, on, uh, on defense. We want to, to uh, uh, put uh, offensive players to play not only one-on-one, -on -one, you know, 
he needs to know that uh, somebody will help. And we also need to, to know that somebody will help on, on, uh, on uh, our, uh, our men. So uh, this is intention, you know. Offensively, you want to make uh, advantage more offensive players against uh, less defensive players. But uh, uh, from a defense uh, view, uh, we, need to, we want to make uh, more defensive players on less offensive players. This is uh, philosophy. So uh, <clears throat> when we are talking about uh, this uh, team individual defense, also, we need to 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 uh, put uh, uh, the the point of uh, what what we want, what, which which kind of defense we want to play, and to start to build this this system. Uh, first of all, you know how we want to play this individual defense, chest to chest, or we want to push uh, this or to force this ball on uh, side or down on on baseline. This is a uh, it's up to, to, to you, you know, uh, which kind of players you have. If, for example, they play pick and roll, uh, of course our uh, 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 guard, you know, he will uh, force on uh, sideline and he will force or, or uh, baseline. If we have not enough good five men, you know, who is athlete, who, who can, uh, he must be on drop. And uh, we also need to use this sideline like our sixth player and baseline like our seventh player. So this is, uh, uh, in general, you know, it depends uh, which kind of uh, players you have, what, what is your selection, and then you decide how you will uh, build this, this system on defense. But uh, first of all, uh, we need to know uh, Individual defense is uh, defense on uh, ball, on player with the ball, and on player without ball. So when we play defense uh, on the ball, uh, our principles and my principles is to play, you know, on parallel stance and to be between ball and between basket. So we need to stop the ball, like Coach Matic said, the main point on individual defense is to stop the ball. This is the main point. Uh, I tell now. I said now about this uh, parallel stance, and you will see on on this uh, what we prepare uh, that uh, good position on, and it's very nice. Uh, uh, you have very nice explanation. Uh, what position of your body, position of your feet. When it's parallel stance, it does mean that the both legs are on same line. Diagonal is one leg is on 45 degree uh, with other legs. So this is different between these two legs. But most important is how to move, you know, how to react on basketball stance. You need to slide and you need to slide the, with the head, uh, which are uh, we are not moving. We need to be enough low, and we need to go with the uh, out leg first, not uh, inside leg, but out leg, and never to to touch uh, each other leg to fit to touch uh, feet. So every time you need to keep the same distance between these two legs. And you are moving first with uh, out out uh, leg, not with uh, first because if uh, inside because if you move first inside leg, you know it's a negative stance. What is not uh, proper stance, and uh, it, it you will every time you will be late. So uh, this is about stance. You know again, good body balance, enough flow. And uh, the most important, you know, we need to play defense with the leg. Remember this, to, to charge with the hands and to, to yesterday was talk, uh, the referee was talking about this also, uh, how to, to, to check with the, the hands and uh, all, all this situation. And we will continue tomorrow when tomorrow is... Uh, 
uh, fouls are are uh, uh, topics. So you know this is this is very important. Defense we need to play with legs, but to be able to play enough good defense and pro proper defense, we need to know that only with practicing we need to 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 to. Uh, 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 gluteus maximus, uh, this this uh, muscle in our body is very important for this uh, proper basketball stance. So, uh, according to to this, we need to 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 uh, develop this this muscle. We need to to use. Uh, now we have all all all. Uh, new equipment, you know, which can help us a lot of, you know, to, 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 to uh, move. Uh, nice drills about footwork and all, all, all this kind. Usually what I uh, used to, to, to make, this is mirror, we, we call this mirror, you know, when we have one uh, offensive player who is leader and one defensive player who follow him. No matter from side to side or from uh, uh, baseline to to the middle of the court, uh, my suggest is uh, don't uh, don't uh, 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 make these drills too much. It's enough if we every day repeat. You know, uh, two three times is enough. All these uh, defensive drills, you know what we uh, how we prepare our our body. We need to do two, three times on proper way, but every day to repeat every day. This is this is very important. And uh, when we was talking about practicing, you know how we can organize this practicing. Coach Matic was talking, you know how many percents we we need for uh, tactics, offensively, defensively. So uh, we need to practice defense. Same like opens every single day. This is important. Uh, in uh, grassroots uh, level, you know, you need to develop their aggressivity. Again, Coach Matic was talking about this. The kids are funny. They are, they are uh, very, very active, you know. They are almost hyperactive. So with our uh, kind of defense, zone defense, so for sure, you know, you will uh, limit their activity and they will not be enough aggressive what, what we usually need in, in basketball. So that's why when I was talking about full court, you know, we need to, to, to play full court, man to man, especially in grassroots, you know, and uh, to control their aggressivity, not to make foul. But to slow down this this uh, offensive team and to make them uncomfortable, you know, and uh, they need to to be busy with us when we are on defense. They need to be busy. They need to be to care about our our defense, you know. And for sure, they will not pass on time. They will not uh, reach front court on time. And if we are we we have this first condition. We we. Uh, we win this first condition, you know. So this is this is uh, uh, very important. So uh, I will talk a little bit uh, about this. Uh, as I said, uh, uh, first of all, uh, depend uh, with which uh, defense we we play. We play. Defense on player with the ball or with uh, on the player without the ball. So uh, if we continue, you know, from uh, uh, let's say from uh, uh, one on one, you know, and then continue on on uh, two on two and uh, three on three, we have a, a situation where we have uh, where we play defense on the player with the ball. And also where we players defense on the player without the ball. Uh, previous when I was talking, you know, when the ball ball is moving, I used to make one step uh, back to the basket and two steps close to the my teammate. So uh, defense without help is nothing, you know. We don't want to play 
uh, plans one on one. We want every time to be ready to 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 help and to try to play uh, two against one. You know. So uh, why uh, why this is very important? Uh, because you know, uh, if we want to to help each other. If I need to go to help to somebody, I need to know that somebody will help to me. So that's why this team team uh, spirit is very important. Uh, on defense, we are team. We are one one spirit. We are uh, brothers. We are sisters. You know, we need to to all this uh, situation. You know, uh, you cannot. Uh, uh, Play defense, you know. You need uh, it must be constant, uh, you know, to, to 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 play. Every time you need to to do something on defense. No matter you play defense on uh, on the player without ball. On individual defense, depend, you know, on both sides. You are on uh, <coughs> very very aggressive. We are uh, we are with the uh, we press the ball. But on uh, uh, weak sides, you know, on, on uh, defense, we are on zone defense, actually. And it's the same when we play zone defense, you know, when the ball is in our area, we play man-to-man uh, -man and, uh, uh, you know, uh, it's not uh, zone defense, actually. So that's why uh, it's very important, you know, uh, to, to our position, good, Position. I call this open, open position, open stance. Every time you need to see your player, and you need to see the ball. If you turn uh, back to to player and see the ball, you will lose your player. If you turn back to the ball and see your player, you will uh, you will not be able to help. So every time you know, uh, usually people call this in America two pistols pistol stance, you know, when, when you have, you know, open, open hands and with one hand you, you uh, uh, show, you know, your man and with the other hand you show the, the, the ball. So when you see both, it does mean that you are on proper, proper stance. So this is about uh, this. I will start now with the one-on-one. -on -one. So first of all, when you are coming and uh, you need to come on your player with the ball, uh, while the uh, ball is tra uh, traveling to, to, to your player, while uh, uh, during the ball, ball is on air, you need to be on time on your player. So with the ball to be on your player. So usually this is after sprint because he was a little bit uh, far from your offensive player. So you need to stop. How you will stop? It is very difficult to stop on one or two contact. You need to use, uh, let's say, this chop-chop step. So, you know, chop-chop step and uh, depend, you know. Uh, before we know, uh, we play defense on the good shooter, so we can go with the uh, uh, one hand up to charge this shoot. Usually this is inside hand. And outside hand is or down, depend where where is the ball in the moment when we reach our player. If the ball is up, so our hands must be up. If once when he put the ball down or she put the ball down, our hands must go down. So. And outside uh, hand, it must be on passing line. This is, you know, the, the fundamental. This is uh, first what we have to, to uh, do when, when we are, uh, uh, when we make this, this close out. So what does mean close out? It does mean that is no open shot. So whatever you do, you know, if you don't uh, control, if you don't charge this shoot, it must be, you know, it must be uh, bad defense. So, uh, because as I said before, that uh, before we start, uh, we put some principles, you know. So one of these principles is not open shot. If my players didn't control this ball, you know, 
he's supposed to go on bench because he don't listen what is what is our our uh, our principle. You know, he don't know what is our principle. So this is very strictly. You know, we need to respect our principle. We put principles on the beginning, and then we need to follow and to respect this principle. So uh, <clears throat> if he shoot or she shoot and score close out, you know, close out shoot uh, close out. Uh, and his score, nothing to tell, nothing to tell. This is this is very important. Also, don't jump on fake. Everyone makes fake shoot shooting, and then after that, they they uh, start to to you know to play one on one. And uh, so, if you jump, if you fly, there is uh, in in uh, America in NBA, uh, they call this fly. You know. When uh, the players are, are especially from weak side, they are, they are going to, uh, on, on his player, and then uh, his player took a shot, and he fly and go out of, of almost of court, out of bounds, he, he, he go. So this is, you know, just for, for uh, spectators, this is not for, for uh, I don't appreciate this, because you are automatically out. And uh, uh, when I start uh, this topic from beginning, and when I start to talk about defense, I said defense and rebound win championship. So you will not be able, you will not make box out on your player. He or she will took offensive rebound, and you will be once again on 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 the game. Also. Uh, on high level, you know, if you want to make block shot, don't smash the ball out of bounds. Smash the ball in front court that we can use this for, for good fa uh, fast break, for layup on the other side. So, you know, even this, this uh, techniques we need uh, to, to we, are, we need to talk about these techniques because, you know, when I smash the ball on 45 degree, and they smash the ball out of bounds. It's not they, there is again their ball. So you know, I want to be our ball. So uh, this box out, you know, it's also very important because I don't want to be uh, two times on defense on same offense. I don't want to be two three times because somebody forget to make uh, box out. Uh, when I'm talking about box out, because it's also individual defense, you know, on perimeter players, uh, I insist to make box out with my shoulder, with the face to front court, because, you know, after that, uh, when I stop my player and when we uh, took rebound, you know, I am ready to, to uh, run on fast break on on other side, on layup. So that's why I don't want to, to make box out with back spin, with back pivot, you know, because I will be with my back on direction to other side. So that's why I insist to make uh, with my shoulder to make box out in the middle of uh, their chest and then to open immediately to run fast break. Low post position you can make with back spin box out and with hands up for sure because, you know, don't charge body of, of your offensive player, you know, because his hands will be over your hands and he will again uh, took rebound and take this, this, this ball. So this is uh, about uh, close out and about this, this uh, box out for sure, what is uh, continuation after, after shooting. What is very important, don't give them to win you with the first dribbling. So it's usually when you are running and when you are coming with the ball on your player, offensive player, you know, he make immediately first dribbling and you are out. So you need to stop, you know, on time to react quickly with the out foot, you know, and to uh, charge him to, to be with the chest. And you need to show hands to referee. 
that your intention is not to play with the hands and to, to, to call out. Once when you touch his body with your hands, you, they will call immediately foul. They don't call, I don't know, some foul for the jail, you know, but if you just touch this, this body, and this is bad habit, we don't need the, the, this, and that is very important to start, you know, to educate these uh, kids from early beginning. Once when you, they start to play basketball, they need to know how to play, to play with the legs again, not with the hand. So, uh, depend, you know, uh, if all our five players play individual defense, and uh, they, they are nearby players, it does mean that it's strong defense, you know, and uh, it does mean that uh, uh, we deny also, and we are, you know, in a close, close uh, basketball stance. But sometimes, uh, we are not, uh, when the defense is not enough strong, is, if, if it's not enough uh, <clears throat> aggressive, we can be a little far from our offensive players. So we don't need to be on a uh, <clears throat> pass line, on full deny, you know. We need to be on open stance and semi-deny. This is my suggestion. Uh, again, up to your uh, philosophy, how you will play defense on which which way you will pay, play this individual defense so uh, good practicing every day principles willing knowledge you know uh, uh, which you 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 can give them this this knowledge and the most important in uh, on defense is communication communication this is problem all over the world uh, no matter which level, even uh, this uh, senior, you know, they have the same pl problem like it. Again, I don't know the reason why is this, but I think if you start from early beginning, when uh, if you uh, develop, improve their habit, it will be much easier. It's very difficult to teach them once when they start to uh, play in senior level, you know, to teach them. So what does it mean? The player on the ball must say, uh, must loud talk, ball, 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 you know, this is very important. And all others, they need to say, help, help, help. So practice this, please, because only with practicing you can, you can be uh, ready for, for proper communication, because without communication, uh, our defense will be uh, middle level, and this is not enough good to, to make some, some uh, result. They must be busy all the time. I was talking yesterday. Uh, my player is behind the ball. I'm talking now about full court. My player is without bo uh, behind the ball. But he is not on offense, or she is not on offense. They are on defense. They need to be, when they are on offense, they must be in front of ball. Then they are on, on, on offense. Once when they are behind, they are not on. So if you are behind the ball and you are on defense, you are also not on defense, you are on offense. So you need to be under, in a level and under, under the ball. This is proper position, you know, which can help you to, to, to uh, play you know, to be ready to, to help and to recover. Also, uh, there is different kind of, of uh, uh, types of, of defense, of course, but uh, what, what I prefer to do. So no, my principle is no middle penetration, no middle penetration, because if it's middle penetration, it can be trouble. Coach Matic will talk about this pack defense next his topics and he will talk on uh, on uh, uh, di uh, different way but you know you need to decide you will uh, play defense to push ball in the middle or to push ball on on baseline 
my experience and my uh, all my results are coming from this you know principles no ball in the middle of course you know that there is not same of course uh, uh, nobody want ball in the paint this is very important and one digression if you lose your player when you are on defense go in the paint you will find somebody if you are player i mean lo- lost your place not to lost uh, to to not to uh, not to know where he go but he is not active he is not but somebody is active so you also need to be active don't care about your place just go inside and and you will find somebody in the pain this is this is very very important so uh this uh, as i said this principles you know close out uh charge ball up between ball and and uh, basket uh good basketball stands but body balance good body balance uh ball pressure not allowed to win with first dribbling help side on one step to the basket two step to the ball same start, the distance between uh, players communication ball ball help help and it will be very good uh, on a player without ball we need to be on open stance this is this is the the, the most uh, most important again you know depend how good is your uh, offensive player he is good shooter so you need to be close he is good in penetration not bad uh, not such as good shooter you need to be ready to to not to win uh, with first dribbling you know to you need to stop him so uh, this uh, what what you will see also on, on this uh, what we will send to you this uh, <coughs> this uh, uh, link you know jim boyle uh, coach you will see methodically from one to one two on two three on three and four on four what is four on four it's usually shell drill and now i will talk ankush will show you on uh, on the on the, this uh, <coughs> board and uh, i will talk now shell uh, yes four on four shell drill so uh, this is my famous uh, favorite uh, drill you know and uh, uh, the players you know like to 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 play this because you know you can uh, easier organize this communication first of all second you know they they will uh, uh, you will develop this uh, uh, team spirit so you know how you can start usually you, you will see this this drill coach uh, or manager in the middle of the court four players on offense two two four players on defense and uh, you will start you know first of all uh, you will line up uh, these four defensive players on baseline they will stay uh, one behind each or, or they will stay in the line and then where you pass the ball first are going on close out with chop chop step you know and we talking ball 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 you need to to talk and then uh, next one is going where second pass is going and so on and so on uh, how we develop uh, develop this this uh, drill first i want to talk about uh, these two uh, players on the top to guard you know they will uh, pass the ball around the, 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 this uh, perimeter and players they must uh, move and keep same distance between each other the most important again is no middle penetration so no penetration from uh, top of the key no penetration from uh, 45 degree uh, where we want to push the ball i you used to push the ball on baseline this is my and then to help from from uh, this help side also in shell drill uh, it's little bit uh, uh, more more uh, 
advanced drill, you know you have a rotation also, and uh, uh, you will see uh, here is, is the explanation, it's nice explanation. So, uh, second, second uh, fa uh, etap on, on this uh, shell drill is when guard pass to guard and uh, exchange position with the uh, down, down players who is down nearby the baseline. So, uh, because, you know, now uh, there are two defensive players on help side. These two defensive players on help side, we don't want to switch. We want to communicate. So, this from the top, when she's going or he's going down, down player tell him open, open, open. So, he will move a little bit and give uh, spacing and uh, chance uh, his teammate to go between his player and between uh, between you, you know. So this is very important because this player on uh, on the on the top, he have no eyes on back on back on uh, you know. He cannot see what is behind. So that's why he need this his his teammate who is nearby baseline. He need to tell him open, open, open. Otherwise, they will make screen each other. They will screen each other, and it's good chance for lob pass for for uh, air pass. You know. So that's why communication, as you see, is very very important. Second, what I want to to talk uh, with you. You know, this is. Uh, the, the, when uh, we play, uh, when we pass uh, to to uh, this, is what I uh, showed before, you know, this is also uh, with the down pin. You know, when uh, the player from the top is going to pin down uh, and to to give chance uh, his teammate to to exchange position. So it's same scenario. It must be communication, you know. Second, uh, when uh, guard pass to the wing and then uh, start to cut. First of all, our printed is not face cut. So once when the ball leave the hands of my my player, you know, I need to move one step to the basket, two steps to the ball. So on this motion, every time. I will be ready to charge, you know, offensive player on my chest, and I will not give, uh, uh, not allow him to cut in front of me. So this is very important. You must be between ball and between your player. So remember this, you know, no face cut, no face cut. But also. Your teammate, uh, because this cutting uh, on the basket, you know, it's active cutting and very aggressive cutting. And as it, uh, they can reverse ball, you know, and it will be easy point. So that's why we don't want nobody to be comfortable in our pain. That's why the players from weak side, they are very important, you know, to uh, check him every time or, or her when they cut to the basket. So they need to, to bump them, to bump them, you know, not to give them to be on time, you know, uh, for, for uh, continuity of, of uh, their set or to be uh, comfortable to receive ball near basket and to score easy points. So this is very important. No easy points, no you know, no easy motion, no easy cutting, no nothing to be easy for offense when we are playing defense. So for sure, you know, it needs uh, uh, again selection to select these players who are uh, who will love to play defense, not only to know to play or or uh, they want or they don't want. They need to love also to play defense. This is very important, you know. So, uh, next one, you know, uh, we, we were talking about middle penetration. 
if these two players on cell drill uh, from the top, if they want to penetrate in the middle, you know, uh, just just this uh, <laughs> shell. Okay. So one of these two players who are uh, who are on the top, if they want to penetrate in the middle, so uh, they cannot because we protect this. We call this nail. Nail is uh, 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 this uh, place, you know, and uh, on the top of the arc. So it must be covered. So there is no middle penetration. I will be ready to help and to recover once when he pass or when she pass uh, to their teammate. Also, from 45 degree, no middle penetration. Where we push the ball? We push the ball on baseline. Once when the ball go on baseline, you know, or when when they start to penetrate from first uh, from the top, uh, who is on first pass line? He will never help because we don't want to open three point. Nobody can help to. Uh, I, I talk about philosophy. I go to help. And I, I need to know that somebody will help to me. So uh, on this position, we are not able to help, you know. We cannot help only from the bench. Somebody come to help inside. So nobody can help. If I leave, if I uh, penetrate, you know, from 45 uh, to the basket on layup, and you are in a corner with your teammate, and you go to help, you will open this first pass and it will be three points from short, from corner or from short short corner, mid-range shot, no matter. So what you will do, I suggest only to help and to recover. To help, just not to help, just to fake and and uh, to recover. So you need to know, you, are, you play defense on good shooter, so don't go even to fake. Stay on uh, on uh, face to face you know not to receive the ball and not to from this penetration to be assist on on uh, corner and to be shoot if he is not enough good shooter you can be a little more uh, far from from him you know it's not necessary to be face to face but you need to only to fake this help and to be ready to come who will help but from help side, because you know what we insist, we insist to be in a level with the ball. This is very important. You know, we need to be in a level with the ball. On help side, they need to be on open stance to see his player or her player and to see the ball and to be ready to stop. And where to stop? Out of paint. So if they they late, it will be end one for sure. They will be late to, to help and they will make foul on shoot and it will be end one what we don't want. Or it will be two free throws, no matter. So actually, and principles are, are also, don't make foul on shoot. Do everything before shoot. If you need to make foul, if he or she win you in the middle, and the principles of your and philosophy of, of your defense and uh, your coach is no middle penetration, so you need to make immediately foul. Because if you don't make foul, our big girls or big guys they will make foul and they will be in uh, foul trouble because you sleep on defense. So no chance, you know. If you do this and it's uh, rule, it's principles, you will go immediately on the bench. Because you don't respect this this defense, this is this is very important. So a uh, lot of this you will see on on uh, on this what I uh, sent to you, and I will try again to come back to you maybe at the end of this uh, uh, session, all this session, and to find uh, again some some proper uh, link to send to you to to. Uh, be with more information and to see how it's going on with uh, with defense. Uh, 
sorry if I miss something, but really I want to point the, the main thing what is very important for individual defense, you know, and uh, all this, uh, what Ankush uh, uh, make presentation, you know, what I send to you, you will uh, see if it's something new, if it's something interesting for you, you will, you will implement in your team, but Remember, no matter which level you are, I mean your your uh, student, it's for everyone is the same principle. It's same basketball. Uh, many times they ask me, you know, the difference between men's and women's basketball, but it's same basketball. Only in women's you cannot see every time you know slam dunk. You you, you will not see. Uh, a long time they, they play with same ball, you know, like men's, they are shooting on 3.5 uh, uh, meters uh, uh, rim, you know. So this is, but the basketball is same. There is no, no difference. And what, uh, whatever you do, fundamentals, whatever you do on time, you know, it will be less prob problem later than when they became senior players and, and uh, all this, you know, what, what uh, is going on, high-level basketball. And, and Okay, so... I will finish with, uh, with this. If, if you have any, any questions, please don't be ashamed, just ask. And whatever, like, like Coach Marty said yesterday, whatever we don't answer, we will try to answer you uh, later. Then you know to all all your uh, your your questions. Any questions? Any questions? Can raise their hands. In uh, in process of uh, practicing, Ankush, I can talk. Yes. Yeah, you can. Uh, what is uh, very important when you practice defense, you know, you need good offense. So every time play good offense, you know, and it can help a lot of defense to 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 improve. If you are on offense, you know, uh, you play for fun or something like that, the defense will not be, you know, uh, successful and it, it cannot help to, to, to uh, defense, you know. So good offense for good defense. Again, good defense for good offense. If you are enough strong on defense, you can help a lot of, to, to offense. No matter they are angry because of, contact or foul or something like that, you need to, to, to teach them that uh, only on this way you can help each other, offensive to defensive, defensive to offensive players. Coach, we can fin uh, finish off the session. No, no questions, yes? Uh, Abdul, you want to ask question, you can. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Good evening. Yeah, my question is, uh, see, uh, for men level is really good that we can man to man which way we can achieve. But school level, if you see that you know mismatches happen, so we don't have when we don't have a tall player, then man to man won't work right. So why what happens means that short people will easily easily dominate. The school level, this is what happens. So every team come up with the same you know tall player for the recruitment and all. So I, 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 I'm not sure, I didn't hear uh, such as, such as uh, clear, but uh, I uh, think that I know, uh, that I know what you asked me. 
the most important is know how tall is your uh, players, on which level they play. So, you know, uh, when you are not uh, enough tall, when you have no enough uh, big players, big sides, you will be more aggressive and you will be more successful. This is the selection, you know. So everyone want, want to be, you know, with nice selection, with uh, height, with speed, with fitness, with everything. But you need to use what you have. If you are small size, you will be more aggressive and you will be very successful. But believe me. Ibrahim. Uh, yes, sir. Ibrahim, you can ask me. Sir. sir, good evening, sir. Good evening. Sir, actually in the school level, uh, we're going to teach students. So, if I am putting the two students in post, so that they are not able to do the movements. So, how can we uh, go for that? Can we go for the one post is okay for that? Or we can put it the two posts for that? Are for pivoting. Not? Uh -huh, I understand. Uh, if you remember from early beginning when we start with the, this session, we were talking about grassroots uh, level and the specialization and uh, all these things. So uh, our advice, both of us, Coach Matic and me, it's passing game. Offensively, okay. it's passing game. It's not specialization. You put one post player, and then all five players must be able to move, you know, pass and cut, uh, dribble handoff, uh, screen away, no pick and roll. This is most important. You will really, you will improve with your offense. You will teach them how to move without ball, with the ball, without ball. And uh, it cannot not be proven. So uh, what can, uh, what will be in future? <laughs> you never know, you know, they will grow up, they will not grow up, uh, you have no size, you know, you will be on same, same uh, some level. But if you have good selection, if you uh, do all these things uh, from early beginning, if you teach them to play with the ball and uh, without the ball, to play proper defense, you know, man to man, it will be much more successful in, in future, no matter which level. Coach, one last question. Yes, thank you. Arthik. Uh, good evening, sir. Good evening. Uh, sir, uh, at what age do you think uh, it is likely that we can uh, do a combination of defense? For example, like the Toronto Raptors, they play man till the half court and from the half court they play a zone set and then once the screen, uh, once the screen happens, they go into a man-to-man -man again. This is a combination of man, zone, and then man. Uh, from what age do you think we can implement this sort of concept where we can you know, do a combination? Yes, I understand. I understand. Thank you. Good, good question. But again, uh, till 15 years old, no zone defense. This is first. Second, no pick and roll. Why? No zone defense because we want to, to improve individual uh, offensively and also to improve individual defensive. So zone defense get, cannot give us this opportunity. Second, no pick and roll till 15 years old. So they need to play with enough, you know, isolation. They need to play more one on one. This is the most important. They will improve much more, you know, individually when they play one on one, offensively, defensively. So uh, actually, you know, uh, in junior level, under 18, they need to know everything from basketball. They need to know everything. So uh, from that age, once when they became senior after that, you know, so uh, they need to know all basketball. They need off offense, everything they need defensively everything. So this combination drill, uh, defense, this uh, zone defense, matchup zone, full court, the double, double team. So they need everything to know tactically. But you know, never play zone defense if you don't, uh, if you are not enough good on individual defense. Because 
in zone defense on your uh, area, on your uh, place, you play man to man. So this is very important, you know. They need to know uh, because today zone defense is not like sunflower, you, you know. They are moving with the ball, just, you know, uh, move half meter and, and something like this. It's not like sunflower. Today, zone defense is very aggressive, very with a lot of pressure on the ball, with double team, with full rotation, with semi-rotation, with everything. So zone defense today, uh, even if we uh, play zone defense, you know, like you usually play in, in India, you are not enough aggressive on this zone defense. So this zone defense, it's just psychically for other team, you know, they, they are kids, they cannot, you know, uh, reach the basket with the ball, they have no power, they, they will not penetrate, they need to play one against two or three. So th that's why uh, we decide and I hope we will, very soon we will change this uh, situation in Indian basketball complete, no matter which level, you know, school or, or team or club or something like this, no zone defense. Okay, coach, we will finish off with this team. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank see you. you. See you tomorrow. Bye, coach. Bye.